Well, Brad, thanks for joining us again for Interactive Team of the Week. Uh, this week in Sirikoski, Mullet and Cam Delaney, can you talk us through uh, those three briefly? Yeah, I mean, Mullet uh, for a number of weeks now has been a player that we've wanted to get into our side and you know, the back six is pretty settled and you know we're pretty settled through the midfield as well, but uh, we know with his speed and kicking penetration that he can give us something different. So, you know, we want to make sure that uh, that he's up and available. So, you know, if we, in the event we play finals, we really want um, Aaron Mullet to be on standby, um, you know, hopefully push his way into our side through form. And no Daniel Wells. Yeah, it's disappointing. I mean, we, we would have loved to have got him out there um, and played him. He definitely makes us a better, better side, that's for sure. But, um, you know, he's a pivotal player. Um, the Medicos have done a really good job getting him to this point, but... Um, you know, we, we just don't think it's worth the risk. Um, we'd love to have him playing, but he's just not quite right. Well, let's move to Facebook. And Nick Ryan's asked, what's your plan for Petri this week? Full forward game or like the last couple of weeks playing up the ground? Oh, it'll depend. I mean, we'll, we'll, the forward unit's been working pretty well. Um, but Fremantle are a very um, defensive-oriented side. And, you know, they, they've got a terrific defence. So we're going to have to... to come up with some new plans for them um, that are different to previous weeks. But, um, you know, Drew's best position, I think, is still at full forward and, you know, he's our best contested mark and, you know, we'll look to put Frio's defence under pressure by playing him deep, but he's got the flexibility to play up the ground if needs be. A question on kangaroos.com.au from Robin. Great initiative, Brad. Can you please tell me how far away Nathan Grimer is? He's had a fantastic year and is very important to the team. Oh, you're right. He's, uh, he's extremely important to our side and, you know, a real rock of our defence and he's played on Matthew Pavlich before and done a good job too. So um, it's going to be disappointing not to have him out there. But um, we think he should be um, a good chance to play next week against GWS. But, um, but if not, definitely right for the week after. But we're certainly aiming for GWS next week. Back on Facebook, uh, Zane Martin, Will Brad Scott, that's you, bring in some of the younger players such as Majak Dor against GWS and rest the key players for finals. We're jumping ahead a week here. Yeah, we are jumping ahead. That's a question for next week. Um, and, you know, it's, it's that old cliche, but, um, you know, we, we're really focused on Fremantle. Um, you know, contrary to popular opinion, we haven't absolutely, definitely made the finals yet. So we've, we've got to uh, make sure that we, we focus on, on Fremantle this week and then next week will, will take care of itself. But, you know, I can say that continuity is a good thing and it's always dangerous to flirt with your form. Can't help you out there, Zane. Um, Peter Ferrugia. Who's playing on Pavlich and do you think our style of footy will overpower Frio? Oh, it's a great question because it's clearly going to be a, a battle of contrasting styles. And, you know, that being said, we've worked really hard on our defence over the last, uh, you know, 10 to 12 weeks. And that's been a major reason why we've, we've improved as a side. So, you know, between Delaney, Thompson, Ferrito, you know, they'll all probably have goes at Pavlich depending exactly where he's playing because he is a flexible player. I mean, while he's, he's played a lot deep forward this year, he can push up the ground as well. So we'll have to have a few plans for him. We'll jump across to Twitter, uh, Sora96. What does Aaron Edwards have to do to get back into the team? Well, nothing that he's not already doing. He's doing everything that's been asked of him. Uh, it's been really tough for Aaron because he's, in the past, he's been a pivotal member of our side. And... You know, with the three key forwards working really well uh, together at the moment, it's just a matter of opportunity for Aaron. So, you know, but we know that he does give us something different um, and he's a, he's a real handful for the opposition to match up on because of his really strong hands and his great leading. So, um, but I can't speak highly enough of him. His attitude's been absolutely fantastic and he's just thrilled that the team's winning. So he's the ultimate team man and we're really confident that if we need him, he'll come in and perform. Back on Facebook for two more. Gary Bell's first. Ben Cunnington's been super since he's come back uh, from the VFL. How do you think he fits in the side when Wells comes back in? Oh, well, I think he's you know he's he's a vital member of our side. We've always had great faith in Ben's ability, and um, you know he just needed to get some runs on the board to build his own self belief. And you know he's a very different player to Wells, and and we think the combination of, of Wells, you know, with Zebel, Cunnington, and Swallow, you know, Garlett gives us great inside ball winning ability and makes Wells a better player. So I think Wells and, and Cunnington fit very well on the same side. Final one is Facebook again. Nathan Russell, what are your thoughts on how Brad Mangan is going as a rookie this year? Yeah, Brad's, uh, Brad's progressing. Uh, he's pl been playing on the last line uh, of defence for Werribee and, and most weeks taking the opposition's best forward. So that's been challenging for him. And, um, you know, Brad's, you know, hopefully going to continue on the same path of improvement. But, you know, he's done it the hard way. He's a mature age rookie and, you know, has come up um, 
and play with Werribee last year and you know certainly needs to, to work on areas of his game to push for senior selection but um, you know he's, he's been toiling away and as I said playing on those really good forwards from every week from opposition VFL side so um, we're pleased with him. Debt reduction game this week, mate. The boys will run out in a very special jumper with about a thousand names of some um, very special contributors on there. It's a pretty good gesture. Yeah, it's fantastic. And any time we, we get a chance to thank our supporters, you know, not only for their donations, but for their great support. And, you know, even just getting around Melbourne at the moment, it's fantastic to see people out in their north caps and, and their north jackets and, and really embracing the club. So, you know, we take this as a great opportunity to thank our supporters. And, you know, we hope you guys get right behind us and, you know, we have another good win. Good on you, mate. Thanks. Thanks, Heath.